arrival of the official party. Lieutenant Hicks has 
served in a capacity of being the first female on three occasions. She was among the first females to serve on a nuclear aircraft carrier, USS John C. Stevens, outfitted to accommodate females. In 2012, she was selected to serve as the first female deputy director of waterfront readiness at the United States Naval Academy. And in 2023, interviewed and was selected to serve the Philadelphia area, Area 3, as the first female Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Area Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm welcome for Lieutenant Teresa Hicks. So 
They actually put that to vote. And guess what the parents did? You all went ballistic and said, no, no color guard. No one doing community service. That does not look good. That's not what we want. Okay? These programs build citizens. It builds people that go out into the community and does positive things. But to think that they actually had to put that to a vote. So, Jimmy Miller, who I replaced, who's now district for NJROTC, he went before Congress and he spoke to Congress on our behalf, forcing what the parents want. We want to keep these programs in the school. So Congress came back and said, we're going to give you, you all some initiative. The first initiative was you need more oversight. Eleven area managers cannot manage the whole United States. So let's increase that number. So now it's 23 of us. So ladies, what do you think the second initiative was? More female. They never had a female area manager. Who would have thought that a woman could do this job? That they had to be told that, we, that young ladies need to see somebody that looks like them out there doing it. So that's where I came in. And this is the first thing I told them. When they came and asked me, I said, yeah, you all know I'm going to do this my way. I, I want to be a school teacher. I have a passion for this program. So if you're the person that you want me out front speaking for NJROTC, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it my way. And my way is, the first thing, I love the people that I know that is doing this job. I know this job is hard. But number one, I love students. I've always wanted to be a school teacher. But I'm going to say this, then I'm going to get somewhere and I'm going to have a seat. It's not about me. It's about them. It's about our future. It's about them knowing that they can be comfortable being uncomfortable. When these kids get out of here, they do cover guard, they're standing here right there. He's at this podium. That is saying that America looks bright right now. Our community looks bright right now because we believe in them. They look good doing what they're doing, right? And they do it with comfort. I am proud of you guys. I love you guys. Thanks for having me out. And you guys have done an extraordinary job today. Commander Butler, you are to be reckoned with. Okay? You are making a difference, and so is your staff. Commandant, thank you for supporting him, and I love you all very much. Right.
Li join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Terry, cut. Ready, cut. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Good 
new man. Can I raise from the Delaware Military Academy's NJ, ROTC, NS1, Honor Squad, respectfully request your permission to exit your drill deck, man. Thank you, man. Ready, two, right, face, to the rear, march. To the rear, march. Go, go. Left, face.
Personnel to receive promotions and awards. Senator.
Her can-do attitude and commitment to excellence is most noteworthy, along with her team player approach, regardless of the order or challenge involved. Cadet Bud excels academically, as evidenced by her 4.0 GPA, and her no-task-too-difficult attitude serves as a great example for all. Cadet Bud, congratulations, and thank you for all your hard work and dedication. These character traits will serve you well. You are an outstanding ambassador for DMA and a superb example of a shining Seahawk. In addition, Cadet Bud is also being promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Junior Grade. Our senior cadet, Alexandra Palella, has been nominated by Master Sergeant Howie for being an example of an outstanding conscientious cadet student who possesses the perseverance to meet all of her goals. It has been said, if there is no path before you, create your own. This trailblazer has done just that in her senior year. As the Alpha Battalion Commanding Officer in charge of 282 cadets and the Marksmanship Team Commander in charge of 14 shooters competing in four different shooter classes, Cadet Palella is a force to be reckoned with. From the start of her high school freshman year to the present, she has proven to be the utmost loyal and mature individual who we come to depend on. Her ability to team build her command staff while mastering the marksmanship team and naval science curriculum has earned her great recognition throughout this academy and the NJROTC program of Area 3. On numerous occasions, Alexandra, in her appointed position as the commanding officer, marksmanship commander, tackles some unique problems and challenges that sometimes fall outside of the normal routine. However, due to her fortitude, she has executed and succeeded each time in a professional manner. <coughs> this led to her earning the NJRTC Program's Leadership Award for Sailing in her junior year and numerous ribbons, medals, and trophies for her remarkable shooting skill. She has been recognized nationwide for her superior performance as an advanced shooter by becoming one of the top 10% shooters in the area earning both the silver and gold pin for excellence from the SECNAV postal matches. Her cordial spirit, along with her captivating presence, has become the hallmark or the embodiment of what discipline and honor is for DNA. Her personal dedication has always reflected great credit upon herself and is in keeping with the highest traditions of DNA and the Navy Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps program. Godspeed and blessings to you, Cadet Palella. In addition, Cadet Palella is also being promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Commander. To all who, who shall see these present greetings, know ye that we're imposing special trust and confidence in the fidelity and the abilities of the fallen cadets being promoted to the respective rank. I do appoint him or her to their respective rank in the United States Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Board. Addison Five. Carmela O'Donnell, Lieutenant Jim Green.
At this time, we'll have all the cadets in the audience sit down and everyone that's in formation go to the break rest. Cadet McKenna Deneen, Lieutenant Junior Grade.
Samantha O'Connor, Senior Chief Petty Officer. Christos Raptus, Senior Chief Petty Officer. Mom, we'll take one with you're, the new rank. You're okay. fine. <laughs> Sadie Hyder, Senior Chief Petty Officer.
Leningrad, Chief Petty Officer.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our 2024 annual military inspection. On behalf of the Commandant and the Corps of Cadets, thank you for attending. As a reminder, the buses for cadets' dismissal will start to arrive around 2.10 p.m. Stand by, regiment. After dismiss, seniors depart. You got naval signs stay here. We do it in a worldly fashion. Seniors depart. Back to your class. Thank you.